Hi, so this is uh, how you can go straight from Scrivener uh, into WordPress um, without having to use any of the compile tools or without having to use Markdown. So what you have to do is you have to, um, format your file in Scrivener so it looks exactly the way you want. So I formatted this as a heading, I formatted this as a subheading, um, I've spaced all my text exactly the way I want it to appear in WordPress. I have a list here. Um, and I have something bold, in bold here, I have something in italics here. Uh, so if I select all my text by pressing Control A or Command A if you're on a Mac, and then if I go up to Edit and I go to Copy Special, Copy as HTML, and if I go over to WordPress, make sure I'm in text, and then I click Paste, uh, you can see that it's pasted in the HTML, um, but you can also see that it's brought over all of the formatting, so it's brought over my choice of fonts, um, it's brought over uh, my headings uh, and so on. So I have to show you what this looks like. Uh, it should appear now. So you can see it looks almost identical to the way I formatted it uh, in Scrivener. Um, so you can see that's a, that's a subheading, that's a heading. Uh, I would prefer Markdown because it gives me more control over how I do it. But that this is one uh, workaround. And the other option you can do is you can use the comp compile tool. So this is where I have the compile button here. Um, you can select uh, your file and you can compile it as a Word document um, or a HTML file and then click compile. So if I compile this as a Word document on my desktop, um, and if I, I use a Mac, so I'm not sure what computer you use, it should appear now in a second. So then if I open the file in pages, that's the Mac equivalent of Word, you can see here that it's formatted as pretty much identical to the way it appears in Scrivener. Um, so if you don't want to deal with any of that HTML, you could then copy and paste that text uh, into the visual editor of WordPress, and it should keep the, pretty much most of the formatting. You may have to do one, some tidy ups um, on the lists or so on. Um, so I hope that helps, but I suppose I, I would recommend that take take the few minutes that it takes to learn Markdown, which I show in the YouTube video uh, on my post.